Welcome back, my name is Carrie, and today I'm gonna to tell you about a company that just made their prefab homes more affordable. I like to think I've got my finger on the pulse of the prefab home industry. You know, what people like, what they dislike, based on the feedback received from over 300 videos posted. I realize it doesn't matter what I post, 100% of the videos get comments on pricing, and not once has someone said that something is too affordable. Affordability is a major concern for people looking for a new home, as it should be, and I've noticed some companies are addressing addressing the concern by making adjustments to what they offer. They aren't necessarily lowering prices, in a way, I guess they are, but it's more of a spin-off product line at a lower price. This is a trend I've been seeing more and more lately that I am fully on board with. The latest company to do it is called Cover with their brand new models in a line they're calling Cover S. What I'm gonna do is tell you about the company, check out the new line of homes they just announced today and get into the pricing. Cover is a California-based company that sees a future with better homes for everyone. Like many of the companies featured on the channel, they've recognized the issues with conventional home building and set out to make a change. If you've been following the prefab home industry for any length of time, you've probably heard of Cover and might even think you've seen everything they've got to offer but that was before today. They've got a modern line of homes that are custom tailored and designed to take advantage of the natural light, views, and functionality of a property. They manufacture and assemble their pre-engineered set of parts inside their factory that can be installed on site in a matter of days. Their panel system and kit of parts allows flexibility with layouts to design and build homes with floor plans that have pretty much endless variations. Cover has software that allows them to instantly confirm that the floor plan design is compliant with local zoning and structurally viable and buildable within their system. It's a really cool system, however, it shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone that a fully custom home comes with a higher price tag than a standard plan. It's the exact reason both of my suits fit like a fridge box. I was brushing up on their info and a heading from their website that stuck with me was, transforming an industry that hasn't changed in a century isn't easy but it is important and that's why we're doing it. I believe it was Michael Scott who said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wayne Gretzky. I can confirm there are plenty of people looking for different housing options that would love to see someone transform the housing industry. Might as well be them. Why not? The disconnect they've identified with housing in its current form is how so many other industries have been fully transformed by technology and that almost every object in our lives, including cars, furniture, clothing, and electronics are made efficiently in factories and are abundantly available. Well, housing hasn't changed in a hundred years. Full disclosure, I don't know much about the history of construction or what was being done 101 years ago, but I do see their point. It really doesn't seem logical to pound out a home with hammers and nails when technology exists to do it more efficiently. It doesn't. Long story short, Cover got a bunch of people that are way smarter than me together into a room and built out a software that streamlines every step of the building process. The result was the version of Cover that I talked about already that allows buyers to create the perfect custom space that is designed specifically to whatever property it's going to. That means people have the ability to change the size, add more windows, add bedrooms, change the configuration, and on and on and on which is super. Their software will create a digital 3D model of each custom cover down to the screw, and with that model, they know exactly how to build it and how much it'll cost every time. It seems like a great system for everyone looking for a custom home, but there are a lot of people, as I mentioned, who would prefer a break on price in lieu of the ability to customize, and they recognize that. Cover just announced today, might be a few days ago by the time this is posted, that they've designed a set of standard plans that allow them to lower their cost. I've seen this from a few different companies lately and I think it's a great idea. Hottest new trend of 2023 and I think we'll be seeing it for more yet going forward. Does this mean that the custom plans are no longer available? Absolutely not. This is a spin-off in addition to what they've been offering for people who are looking for a more affordable build. The idea here is what you see is what you get. There is no customizing these plans. So if you walk into cover and say, I want the standardized plan and pricing, but I want to make the bedroom bigger, they'll say, get out. No, they probably won't say that, but don't even bother asking. Under the cover S section of their website, it says the same great product delivered faster, simpler, and at a lower price. Now we're talking. They show a comparison between the custom and standardized and the biggest difference in price that basically jumped off the page and slapped me upside the head is the design and engineering fee. On the new standard model, it's $4,000 compared to $40,000 for the custom. 
huge difference. The other big benefit is the timeline. The standardized home has a timeline of six to nine months compared to over a year up to a year and a half for a custom home. To me, this makes nothing but sense. And the only thing I'd have to give up is the ability to customize my own home. Oh, darn. I'm not an architect. I don't need to design my own home. It's the same reason I stick to the set pies from Papa John's instead of venturing off into the build your own section. They know what works. I don't need to reinvent the wheel. The smaller of the two new models is called the S1. I'm guessing the S stands for standard. First impression of the S1 in the looks department is it looks awesome. It still has the signature modern cover build with floor to ceiling windows and I think it looks inviting. Something you don't see every day that I think needs to be pointed out right off the hop here is the window into the bathroom. I was looking at the windows on the floor plan and assumed this was a slot window above the shower, but to my delight, this is a full length frosted window into the shower. I can't think of another plan that has this standard. It's pretty cool. I was watching some of their videos and I think it might be one of those windows that frosts up at the click of a button. The S1 has dimensions of 13 foot seven wide by 33 foot nine long for a total footprint of 580 square feet in which they've got one bedroom and one bathroom. The way they have the floor plan laid out, they've got the entrance on the end into the kitchen living space. The kitchen cabinets and appliances run the length of the left wall and include a pantry, cooktop, dishwasher, sink, and finally a fridge. The living room is 15 foot 10 by 13 foot 9, showing a possible layout that includes a dining table, couch, and a chair. There's a sliding glass door to the living room on the front to what would be a logical location for a deck. Heading towards the bedroom, the hall doubles as a utility room with mechanical, a closet, and the washer dryer, and off to the right, they've got the bathroom. The bathroom has everything you might expect to see in a bathroom, including a sink, toilet, and the shower that I mentioned earlier, so going to be full of natural light. I know I talk about natural light a lot, but it's important, all right? The bedroom has dimensions of nine foot eight by 13 foot nine, in which they've got a closet, and would you look at that, another sliding glass door. I think this is a well thought out plan that for me pretty much eliminates the need for a custom, but if you're looking for something bigger, they've got the S2. The biggest home currently available in the Cover S line is the S2. The S2 has a bit more character. It's kind of shaped like my favorite Tetris piece. It has dimensions of 37 foot foot 11 on the longest side, 29 foot 8 deep, and 17 foot 3 wide. The footprint jumps up to 870 square feet, and in that space, they've got two bedrooms and one bathroom. The way the plan is set up, they've got the main entrance into the living room dining area, and there's a coat closet right nearby just off to the left in the hall. The living room kitchen space is four feet longer on the S2, but more or less has all the same stuff. The smaller of the two bedrooms is accessed directly out of the living space, and the other is past the bathroom in the hall. Look at this. Both bedrooms bedrooms and the living room have a sliding glass door. The glass is sliding pretty much through this whole house. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I'm leaning towards the look of the S1 over the S2. There, I said it. They're both cool options, but it just depends what you're looking for, how much space you need, and of course, your budget. Speaking of budget, before I wrap this thing up, I am gonna check out their pricing, but keep in mind, prices can and usually do change, but will be accurate at the time of posting this video. The S1 starts at 369,000, and the S2 starts at 514,000. It is noted that each site is unique, and site work prices vary, but will be locked in before signing the contract and I like that. The price you're given and sign off on is the price you pay. None of that, oh, by the way, business at the end of the job. Not happening. Cover just released two brand new standardized floor plans to make their homes more affordable. They're the second company this month that I've seen roll out what I'll call a spin-off line to simplify their build process, save costs, and pass those savings on to customers. I'm a fan of this strategy because people want more affordable options, and I think a lot of people would take the savings over the ability to customize. I think the new standardized plans from Cover look great, and I wanna see some interior shots when one of them gets set up in LA, so I'll be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.